Hi, my name is Campbell Wilson from Ross and Auntie Studios and I'm going to go through some tin whistle techniques. So the first technique is tongue your notes. So every time you hit a note in the tin whistle, make a T sound with your tongue, slightly touching the front of your teeth. If you're a beginner, this will immediately make you sound a bit better. What most people do when they're learning tin whistle is to slur all the notes. This is what it sounds like. I'm not saying that sounds bad, but if you're starting out and you want a less beginner sound, uh, tonguing the notes is a good idea. Obviously in more advanced pieces of tin whistle music, you'll use a combination. For the moment, uh, tonguing is probably a good idea. Uh, the second one is doing a bend. So, in a lot of Irish tin whistle playing and folk tin whistle playing, you'll hear notes being bent a lot. Um, this will very quickly make it sound a bit more folky or Irish when you're playing tin whistles. So, a couple of examples, you can go from the low E to the G. So, start off in the E. Gradually remove your index and your middle finger and then you'll land on the G. So that's a slow one, you can do it a bit more quickly. But it's best uh, just to take that slow immediately until you get the hang of it. Then you can take that to the high E and the G, it just takes a bit more air. And then there's there's a lot of variations you can do with that, but um, I would recommend just starting off the easiest way, going from the E to the G. So the next one we have vibrato. Uh, there's a famous James Galway video, the link is in the comments and it's in my blog and he talks about not using your diaphragm but more using your throat and making more of a eh, 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 eh sound when you're playing. I tend to do a combination of both and I also find it's easier in the higher notes than the low notes but everyone should be able to try this and, and at least get some vibrato going. Um, that will give your sound more of a professional feel. Uh, might take a bit more of getting used to, but I'd have a look at that James Galway video and uh, give it a go. So the next one, hammer-ons and pull-offs. This is a guitar term that I'm using, but it gives you a very folky sound again, and it can sound very impressive when using a fast melody. So, one of the first ones you can do is just going from the G to the A. So just imagine G is your last note in a phrase. Um, you can do a quick pull off to the A then a hammer on back to the G. So it'd be something like... So what I'd do there is um, I'll tongue the note first, I'll quickly go to the A and then I'll go back down to the G. You can do variations of that on any note you want. And I sometimes do a version where I go from the B, instead of playing an official C, which is... I lift my finger slightly off of the B note, which gives me a C. Then you can incorporate that into the trill. Quite like this one. Uh, if using a faster melody. Um, 
it's quite a good thing to do and can be quite impressive. So I think I've covered the basic things that I've got on my blog. What I can now do for you is play Stairway to Heaven the way I have notated it. So this is without backing music, just so you can hear what I'm doing. Thank you.